Hello everybody, Scotia here, and this is going to be my attempt to uh, react to the Capcom Fighters Street Fighter 5 Luke stream that is going to be starting soon. Um, I don't really have any expectations for the stream. Uh, I think deep down I'm kind of hoping that they're going to tease Street Fighter 6 in some way, or at least kind of, you know, give more info into how Luke ties into the future of Street Fighter, which was teased back when uh, they revealed him. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna you know give my thoughts as I watch the show. Hopefully, it's a good one. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when we when we start. Oh, starting. Oh wow, story stuff. Oh. So that's Luke's father. Wow, actually just starting with his character story. Everyone needs to get away from here now. What's going on? Run, run, run. Whoa, this is cool. Until that incident, I thought my father was just a simple, quiet, and reserved man. But that's not true. Wow. Totally wrong. What's going on? So now, I've decided to fight my own battle. Someday, I want to Oh, it was his, his father he was talking about. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting start. Starting with story. That's, uh, it's very interesting. It's the lads. Oh man. Oh, uh, definitely liking uh, Street Fighter's direction under these two. It's definitely been a lot better since Ono left, you know. All, all, all due respect to Ono, but uh, I've definitely been enjoying the uh, communication that we've been getting since these two kind of started doing these uh, streams. It's definitely been a lot of a uh, lot better of, uh, of an improvement. Oh wow! Oh, so he's definitely military then. Uh, definitely air force. Yeah. Giles is mentor then. That the the, the theories were uh, true. Nice. At least it is around the corner, so he's not going to drop tonight, which is kind of good for me because I'm probably not going to be able to play him anytime soon, unfortunately. So just move set stuff, obviously not the person to really talk about this stuff, but uh, I'll still watch it and enjoy it. So um, I, I wonder what was going on then at the start there with uh, with his father. Obviously he was telling his father like that his father was shouting at you know Luke and the people around them to run. Um, I really wonder what the, what was happening there. I'm trying to think of it. What what it could have been, you know. Um, could have been G related because it looks like it was in like an urban location, maybe Metro City, possibly, um, which uh, which could link with this with the stage they're on now. But um, yeah, I, I doubt it would be something like Gil. I don't know what Gil would be doing. That would make that would you know cause people to have to run. Um, same with G really, but you never really know with G. Um, I doubt it's uh, Bison or Shadley related um, because that you know they they should be kind of gone at this point. You know, you never really know. They might be, you know, they might just be brought back. But um, he did look quite young, actually. I just, yeah, I just, I just kind of twigged there. He did look a lot younger, so he definitely could be Shadlu, actually, depending on uh, how far in the past that scene took place. But yeah, that's very interesting. Um, definitely interested in seeing if the character story actually goes into detail into what was happening there. So it's it's interesting that he seems to also be pretty high up in the air force because he was seen to be uh, shouting at some uh, some uh, soldiers there uh, or so, what the air force pilots I I, I I don't know the right term sorry um, so definitely looks like he's a uh, he's high up in the ranks um, I wonder uh, you know what his rank is or kind of like, obviously he's below Guile because you know Guile was there and. Guile had his uh, Street Fighter Five design, so clearly that took takes place around the time of Street Fighter Five. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in seeing his relationship with Guile, and uh, so far, move-wise, nothing really. 
that I've seen looks like it's taken from Gal, so he's not like, uh, I was going to say copycat, but um, he's not somebody who kind of imitates or uh, homages Guile, like, say, Sean or Sakura. He, he, this guy's definitely got his own stuff, so it's, it's not a case of that. I mean, he, he doesn't even have Nash stuff, really, so he can't say in, there's any Nash involvement. But, uh, yeah, definitely, um, definitely interesting. I missed what he said there, but I saw the end of it. it. Said that no characteristic. It's a character. He has a characteristic that no other character has. I I uh, wonder if that's a tease for uh, something in Street Fighter Six, maybe a possible system or something. Um, I wish I saw what it was. Uh, I was kind of tuning out a little bit because obviously the gameplay stuff isn't a big inspiration or big uh, interest of mine. Oh, against Alex. That's interesting. Uh, he was against Ryu as well. Ooh, could be uh, could be a sign he's. Uh, the next protagonist, maybe, which is what a lot of people were thinking, myself included. Flash Knuckle. Ah, Flash Knuckle, actually. Flash Knuckle could be Flash Kick. Um, that, that could be a link. It's, it looks pretty different to Giles, maybe. Um, I don't really know. Again, not a gameplay guy. <laughs> um... Definitely interesting that they put him with Alex, like Ryu and then Alex. Um, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but it, I definitely, my mind is jumping to uh, possible connotations that he is actually, like I said, he actually is the protagonist for the next Street Fighter game. Um, I mean, I think the fact they started with a character story, or just the story in general, I think is definitely, because I mean, no other character got that. I mean, we've had all of these, for the, the, the other Season 5 characters. And none of them, even Rose, who's you know pretty important character story wise, she'd never got anything from us character story. So um, definitely an important character in terms of the plot, which makes me believe that he that he is going to be the next main character, which is pretty exciting. Ooh, that looked interesting. One unique characteristic, another one. Hmm. I think quite a lot of people are going to be watching the stream and kind of like analysing a lot of how he plays to see if this is uh, any potential signs for Street Fighter 6. Because uh, I know um, a lot of people said that Street, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4's Omega mode was kind of like a lot of stuff that kind of was in that type of gameplay mode. Was uh, It was either stuff that kind of like, was either stuff that ended up being in Street Fighter 5 or it was... Stuff that kind of like seemed like a kind of like a predecessor to what would end up being Street Fighter V's systems. So I wonder if there's anything here that's going to kind of be the same type of deal. Um, I, I I won't I won't know, <laughs> um, but uh, it'd be interesting to see what people make of the gameplay. Oh, Rashid, yeah, he's absolutely the protagonist. He's absolutely the protagonist because you know. Rashid is the main character of Street Fighter V. Obviously, Ryu's the one that comes in to save the day, but um, it's a shame Abel's not in this game really, because Abel's kind of the the kind of the main character of Street Fighter Four as well. Obviously, again, Ryu is the one who kind of saves the day, but um, yeah, it's a shame because we've got all the we've got all the, I was going to say villains, well, I guess villains, but we've got all the bosses in um, this game. It's a shame we never got Abel. You know, I quite like Abel. I think he's a cool character. Um, Shame he never made it into this game. But yeah, definitely. The fact he's been, you know, with Ryu and then Alex and now Rashid, the characters who have been either the straighter protagonists or, like, main characters uh, for the Street Fighter games, it's, 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 it's a pretty telling sign at this point. Especially, uh, you know, given the theories and what they've said about him. He does look cool, Boo set wise. I am very interested in trying him out. Oh, I do like the look of that move, uh, Rock Smasher. A lot of elemental stuff there, Rock Smasher, Sand Blaster, a lot of uh, earthy type of naming conventions to his moves, I wonder if that means anything. Thermal Barrack, Thrash, no idea what that word means, no, you're going to attempt to theorise <laughs> what that means. Personality is definitely very uh, extreme, kind of um, 
he's definitely loud and verbose and cocky, which is a change, I guess. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it has some similarities to Alex, I guess, but Alex is a very different type of kind of cocky. I would say Alex is more arrogant, especially in New Generation and Second Impact. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it'd be interesting. Um, I'm definitely interested in seeing how he'll be as a main character. Cool, that wraps up the gameplay. Kind of glad. I, I mean, I was good. I was I was interested in it. You know, it looks fun to play, but I just yeah, I don't. I, I have no idea <laughs> like about any of this stuff. I I really I really never took the time to learn the gameplay aspects. Yeah, it's so clear to me that they're teasing him as the protagonist because they're putting him against all of the other protagonists. Like, it's a really clear sign to me. Again, I could be reading into it, I guess, but it's, to me, it's 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 not a coincidence that they put him against these particular three characters, like the other three main characters of the series. A new challenge in the world of Street Fighter. Mm, come on, give me some more teasers. That's what I'm here for, man. I like this Japanese voice more, I think. Yeah, the English one is not bad, but I uh, I prefer the Japanese one. I think um I think the what well, isn't the Japanese voice for Luke um Kyo's um new voice actor that he's gotten fourteen in the fin in the KO fifteen. Um if that's if that's true then yeah I'll probably switch to the Japanese one. Just uh just for that alone really. But uh I do like how the Japanese one sounds more. So some gameplay here. Looks very quick. Oh, I was quick. I was really fast. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely uh, mess around with them. You know, I, I never really found like a solid main in Street Fighter Five. I kind of messed around with uh, Ken and Alex probably the most because those are the two characters. Oh, I I I'd like to play as Ken in um, Third Strike, but. Alex was never really the best at with in third strike, but I do like Alex in, in five. But I'll definitely be giving Luke a try at some point, you know, outside of uh, the story stuff. Come on, show me the critical art. Oh, I'll probably go to the other round. Yeah. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Um, Got to say, in terms of costumes, uh, I'm not a fan of the one on the right there. The uh, what I would call the John Cena look, or the uh, the oh, uh, Thugonomics John Cena. Uh, probably my least favorite of the costumes they've shown. I would probably rank it his story costume, which was the blue kind of the blue camo looking uh, jacket and boots. I'd, that one's probably my favorite. Then I'd probably go his default there on the left, the MMA look, and. Um, yeah, then probably the John Cena look. I, I think they're all okay. Um, yeah, design wise, I definitely his his default. I think could be a lot better. I kind of wish his default was the kind of you know was the Air Force like camo look with the jacket and the boots. I like that look more. I think you know given what we've oh, Crit Clark. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the fucking faces, man. Um, yeah, I can I think, I think, given his story, you know, with him being in the Air Force and being kind of Gal's protege, I think, uh, oh, this is eSports stuff, don't really care about this. Um, yeah, I think, uh, given his, his backstory and his relationship with Gal, I kind of wish the, um, the, the, the Air Force costume, I'm just going to call it the Air Force costume. Um, I kind of wish that one was the default. I kind of actually had a theory. I was talking to this. I was I was talking to someone about this the, the other day. And I kind of thought like, I, I was I was I was wondering if Luke's default costume in this one, the MMA look. I I wonder if that one's kind of similar to how Alex in this game is like a younger version of of, of himself in, from Street Fighter Three. I wonder if this is kind of like this. His default look is a younger kind of Luke. And his design that he'll have in Street Fighter Six will be the will be the real look, if that makes sense. It'll be the look that they designed for him mainly, but kind of this one is kind of like a prequel design, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of were in, I, I was kind of wondering if they were gonna do that with him, 
Uh, I guess we'll find out eventually, but um, yeah, if, if I had to choose, I would definitely go with um, the Air Force look as the default, but that's just me. Uh, one day we'll get characters that aren't just from Street Fighter 2 and crossover stuff. One day. Oh, Luke's release date. November 29th. Um, I don't know what day that is. I will have to look at a calendar when this is done. Yes, obviously his costumes were released on the same day as the character. That's literally never changed. Uh, yeah, showing the season pass. Cool. Uh, November 29th. I wish I had my phone with me. I would have checked the date. Um, I'll see if I can check it quickly. Uh, that is next Monday. That works out pretty well, actually, for me personally. Oh yeah, the tracksuit costume. The tracksuit costume actually does look as uh, does look good as well. But my favorite is definitely the uh, the story costume or the Air Force costume. Oh, the po who we feature in the next the next Street Fighter project. So we hope you try him out when he's releasing his SF five. There we go. Confirmation. Obviously, it didn't say six, but there we go. The next Street Fighter project. Damn. There we go. Oh, Street Fighter side so. So yeah, they confirmed next Street Fighter project confirmed. Oof. I mean, it's we've known about it for so long now because of leaks, but like, damn, they actually like talked about it. It's weird. Yeah, nice and short. You know, it wasn't going to be as long as the last one because they're not going over two characters, which is good. This is this was a decent length. I thought I thought the last one with Oro and uh, Akira was way too long, personally. Um, this was a nice little one. Cool. Definitely glad we got a little. Got a little confirmation there. Hopefully, we find out more about the next the next Street Fighter project, which totally isn't Street Fighter Six. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But um, hopefully, we find out about it soon. But that's still very exciting. Um, yeah, great format. I hope you never stop doing it. I hope you always do this throughout the rest of, for all of Street Fighter Six. That concludes. Yep, yeah, last character. Finally. <laughs> I've had up I've had ups and downs with Street Fighter Five, but I am going to be sad to see it go. Yeah, peaks and valleys. Uh, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Uh, yeah, I I give them all the juice. The game was rough when it launched, but they've they've turned it around. Uh, I really do give them props for that. See you soon, rather than a goodbye. Man, we're finally getting close. <sighs> More information next year. Yep. Yeah. Ka gotta be Capcom Cup. Gotta be Capcom Cup. We'll be hearing more about it. Cool, man. Nice. That it? Oh, yeah, I pretty, I'm pretty sure that's it. This seems like it's just esports stuff. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, shared information on Season 5 characters. Man, that th this stream, the very first one, that one was crazy. Like that was like, yeah, responded. That one was so good. Um, yeah, this was it was a really good show, and like it was such a drastic change from how they'd been showing everything before that. Like just the constant, like no communication. Like man, I re I remember those early days with the fucking roadmap in season one that Capcom USA put out and then Capcom Japan were like no actually we're not we didn't make this roadmap so we're not going to use it and it was just like well when are we getting content like such a far cry from where we are today man like it's so crazy to see how much they've improved in just such a short amount of time uh it is it is really good to see it really makes me like optimistic about the future of Street Fighter, which uh, for a, a, a while, for a, a couple of years between, in the middle of the game's lives, I was not, I was not very, uh, not very optimistic. But now I definitely am. Um, it's definitely going to be good. I'm, I'm very excited for Street Fighter Six. I, I really hope they hit out of the park. But yeah, they deserve to have a little victory lap here because this, this format fucking rules. It's so good. I hope they keep using it. Yeah, it is a nice presentation. That was an update and a half. I was blown away. I give that a ten out of ten. That was pretty good. That was nice. I give Cap. 
<laughs> I like how they have punk for the fucking backhanded compliments. We'll be back with more news about the street, future of Street Fighter. Oh, come on, anything else? Or is that it? Thank you for watching. Cool. All right. Oh man, that's 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 all I was expecting really, and like that, I'm glad. That, I'm glad they did it. Like they could have just said nothing, but like they told us it's communication. It's the one, like I was just saying, it's the one thing we never had throughout most of Street Fighter Five's life. And like they finally, they're finally doing it. They're telling us like we would have never known that they were working on the next game, like until we until they revealed it. They never would have said that. Just them saying it. We're working on the next Street Fighter project. They didn't say it was six. They didn't need to say it was six because we know it's six. But just saying that is just so like they never would have done that. They never would have done that, and it's it's so crazy to just kind of like to just see them communicating and being open, and it's it's such a breath of fresh air. And I, I could go on forever about how great it is, but um, it's getting a bit late for me. Uh, so yeah, this was my reaction. Uh, I know there was probably going to be quite a lot of cuts because there was just periods I wasn't talking because I wasn't really interested in what was going on well not interested but not invested really um mostly the gameplay stuff and the ad stuff but uh this was a, this was a good show again this was a good show good pacing didn't wasn't like wasn't too long showed us what they had to show told us what they had to tell us um i enjoyed it it was definitely a lot tighter paced and just more enjoyable to watch than the last one which i felt was far too long um yeah man I'm glad we finally got confirmation, guys. It's, you know, don't know it's six. I'll, you know, I won't go as far as to say Street Fighter 6 is confirmed, but it's pretty much confirmed. But yeah, very, very exciting stuff. I'm definitely going to be doing lots of content on Luke. I'm glad I've got a week to kind of prepare. I wasn't, uh, wasn't very ready at the moment to do it. Um, I was kind of worried if he was going to drop tonight, but uh, I'm glad he's not. I'm glad I've got some time to do it. But yeah, definitely exciting. Good stream, good, good vibes, good feelings. I'm feeling good. Feeling happy, feeling optimistic. Um, Luke looks great. Confirmed he's going to be a big character in Street Fighter VI. Um, I'm convinced at this point he's the main character. Nobody can tell me otherwise, personally. Um, good shit, good shit. Anyway, that's me done. Thank you guys for listening. If you listened all the way to the end, um, let me know how this type of content was for you. Uh, I quite enjoyed doing it, actually. I've always wanted to do reaction videos, as I've said numerous times, but reasons kept stopping me, so this is my first one. I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try and do more stuff like this in the future, maybe for other stuff. It all just depends on time zones, really. I mean, it's not bad for me at the moment. It's almost... It's, uh, it's about half eleven at night, uh, which isn't too bad. So, um, anyway, yeah, cool. I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I will see you guys next week for some Luke content and hopefully get some ideas of where the future of Street Fighter is going. So, once again, thank you very much, and I'll see you later. We await your return, warrior.